The ankle brachial index is the ratio of the blood pressure in the lower legs to the blood pressure in the arms. Compared to the arm, lower blood pressure in the leg is an indication of blocked arteries. The ABI is calculated by dividing the systolic blood pressure at the ankle by the systolic blood pressures in the arm. Method The patient must be placed supine, without the head or any extremities dangling over the edge of the table. Measurement of ankle blood pressures in a seated position will grossly overestimate the ABI. A Doppler ultrasound blood flow detector, commonly called Doppler wand or Doppler probe, and a sphygma manometer are usually needed. The blood pressure cuff is inflated proximal to the artery in question. Measured by the Doppler wand, the inflation continues until the pulse in the artery ceases. The blood pressure cuff is then slowly deflated. When the artery's pulse is redetected through the Doppler probe, the pressure in the cuff at that moment indicates the systolic pressure of that artery. The higher systolic reading of the left and right arm brachial artery is generally used in the assessment. The pressures in each foot's posterior tibial artery and dorsalis pedis artery are measured with the higher of the two values used as the ABI for that leg. Where plague is the systolic blood pressure of dorsalis pedis or posterior tibial arteries, and palm is the highest of the left and right arm brachial systolic blood pressure. The ABPI test is a popular tool for the non-invasive assessment of PVD. Studies have shown the sensitivity of ABPI as 90% with a corresponding 98% specificity for detecting hemodynamically significant stenosis greater than 50% in major leg arteries, defined by angiogram. However, ABPI has known issues, ABPI is known to be unreliable on patients with arterial calcification which results in less or incompressible arteries, as the stiff arteries produce falsely elevated ankle pressure giving false negatives. This is often found in patients with diabetes mellitus of diabetes, renal failure and all heavy smokers. ABPI values less than 0.9 and 1.3 should be investigated further regardless. Resting ABPI is insensitive to mild pad. Treadmill tests are sometimes used to increase ABPI sensitivity but this is unsuitable for patients who are obese or have comorbidities such as aortic aneurysm, and increases assessment duration. Lack of protocol standardization, which reduces intra-observer reliability. Skilled operators are required for consistent, accurate results. When performed in an accredited lab, the ABI is a fast, accurate, and painless exam. However these issues have rendered ABI unpopular in primary care offices and symptomatic patients are often referred to speciality clinics due to the perceived difficulties. Technology is emerging that allows for the oscillometric calculation of ABI, in which simultaneous readings of blood pressure at the levels of the ankle and upper arm are taken using specially calibrated oscillometric machines. Interpretation of results in a normal subject the pressure at the ankle is slightly higher than at the elbow. The ABPI is the ratio of the highest ankle to brachial artery pressure. An ABPI between 0.9 and 1.2 considered normal, while a lesser than 0.9 indicates arterial disease. An ABPI value greater than 1.3 is also considered abnormal, and suggests calcification of the walls of the arteries and incompressible vessels reflecting severe peripheral vascular disease. Provided that there are no other significant conditions affecting the arteries of the leg, the following ABPI ratios can be used to predict the severity of PAD as well as assess the nature and best management of various types of leg ulcers, predictor of atherosclerosis mortality. Studies in 2006 suggests that an abnormal ABPI may be an independent predictor of mortality, as it reflects the burden of atherosclerosis. See also, peripheral vascular disease, peripheral vascular examination, intermittent claudication, references. External links, medical test information form at WebMD, ankle brachial index at Stanford Medicine 25.